It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in the beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I have always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Won't you please be my neighbor? And so we're together again, turn member. Glad to be with you. Uh, you probably are wondering what our wellness message of the day is. Sometimes we wonder too. The message of the day is your quarantine diet. And that seems to be a big topic of conversation these days. Oh, but that's my grocery delivery boy. Hi, Mikey. Yes, he always maintains his six foot distance. And you know what? I forgot to pay the tip online, so I need to do the same. Maintain that six foot distance. There you go, Mikey. Thanks. See you next time. And time to go unpack those groceries. Thanks for waiting. I wanted to get my work clothes off and just you know, I just feel I've got to wear a tie to work too, not comfortable. I work for this guy named Trevor and the whole place is wearing golf clothes, except he wants me as an administrative assistant to wear a tie. Mm -hmm. What I want to talk to you t today about is that quarantine diet. So picked up my groceries from the door and brought them in and I'm still confused about what to do when I unpack my groceries. So I've pretty much been going by those CDC guidelines and the most important thing is to wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. So keep up with those guidelines and uh, you know, you're gonna end up doing probably more. You know, I know I do, I'm still wiping things down with sanitary cloths some things before I, I put things away. So snacks, I think because, you know, maybe I'm bored at times and maybe a little stressed out I seem to be eating more snacks. So I'm wearing a path from the family room to the refrigerator and to the pantry. I think uh, one of the things we need to do is also put meal plans in our routine. So at two o'clock in the morning the other day, I thought about what all of these wellness topics are. I've renamed it the turn tools. Like that, yep, came up with that all by myself. That's what happens. I wake up at two in the morning and I think about you guys. So the turn tools, what are they? We talked about maintaining routine, okay? We talked about brain fitness. You know, take about 15, 20 minutes out of your day, do a crossword puzzle, jigsaw puzzle, uh, play those brain games. You can get them online, talked about that. Maybe revisit an old hobby. I revisited my guitar, still practicing or think about a new hobby you've never had time to do. We also gave you some fitness activities. We uh, did some chair yoga with Judith. I gave you a chair strength exercise program and a chair cardio program. And be ready for more of those fitness activities to come. So snacks, common sense, you want to avoid those salty, greasy, sugary snacks. You know, it can mess with that high blood pressure and and glucose levels. So what are some good snacks? Well, one of the good snacks they say is, oh, unsalted nuts, okay? I also like peanut butter. Well, you know, this is natural peanut butter, low sodium, and you know, 
in moderation. It's okay. I like to put it on apples or something. Speaking of apples, fruit, great thing to have in your refrigerator. Hummus, one of my favorite things. And uh, not one of my husband's favorites, so it goes a long way. Hummus, and I like to use like cucumbers or you know cut up vegetables, carrots, it's delicious. And who doesn't like popcorn as you're binging on these movies, okay? Kernels and an air popper, you know, in the microwave. Or, you know, if you really look closely, you can find that microwave popcorn, you know, more of a fat-free type, low salt. So that's better than anything, you know, if you don't have the air popper. All right, so what do you do to develop this meal plan? Well, I looked at what I had. That's how I start. And I go to the pantry and the refrigerator, and I've been looking up some of those interesting new quarantine meals, which is, which is kind of cool. And I try to go with those recipes if I have what I need. Um, here's what I had, some of the things in my pantry. I had, well, for breakfast and, you know, just other recipes, I always have my old-fashioned oats. Beans. Beans are great. So I have kidney beans, and I have my black beans, and who doesn't like a good bean salad once in a while? And you're not in program, so go for it. Um, when I make things that have sour cream, I use the plain Greek yogurt. Okay, a lot, a lot healthier than the sour cream or light fat-free sour cream. Starch, sweet potatoes, okay? These are great for you. I tried to grow sweet potatoes and they became as big as, like big as my thumb. I need to talk to my horticulture specialist in the program. At least these are a little bit bigger. I'm not ever gonna grow sweet potatoes again. Brown rice, not white rice. It's really hard, but so your brown rice or look what I snuck in, cauliflower rice. My husband has no idea. It looks just like rice. Canned vegetables, right? Keep some canned vegetables. You know, fruits and vegetables, I I still go out and I'll get my fresh vegetables. And, uh, but sometimes, the, you know, they'll go bad. So I have to keep some, you know, in the pantry, like the canned tomatoes, great for sauces and things. White pasta. Hmm. I'm trying to get away from that. Uh, I have this only because I'm trying to trade Trevor a couple boxes of Girl Scout cookies. He's got two kids for some Kraft macaroni and cheese. I'm not buying it so far, but I do what I can. Canned meat, chicken, tuna, hey tuna. Took my husband with me one time and look what ended up in the grocery cart. Very, very dangerous, dangerous to take, to take him. Frozen vegetables, all right? Green, again, not one of my husband's favorite colors, but frozen vegetables are great. And then you've got your meats and fish. Frozen salmon, all right, great. Absolutely great for you. Got your grilled chicken you can get. Uh, just make sure, you know, when you buy it, you're looking at, you know, the preservatives in there. Fruit, frozen fruit. It's like I said, sometimes you want to have this on, on hand in case you're afraid to, you know, your fresh fruit's gonna go bad. And pastry, <laughs> you wanna avoid that, but uh, just like you wanna avoid that, those frozen pizzas and, and things like that. Um, but again, in my grocery cart, okay. And the first three weeks of this whole mess, I was going on the uh, meal budget of a pie a week because I, I thought I, I deserved it, but you really, you know, let it go. So. I now I know like what I have, got those meals in my head because I've got the stuff to make them. Now I go online and I come up with some cool recipes that are healthy, the quarantine recipes as they call them. And now I've got my grocery list. So I call, you know, curb pickup or delivery, the best thing to do because you want to try to stay home, stay safe. That's all I have to say about the quarantine diet. So now I have to put some food on the table again. Kids are in theater, so of course you have my props, all right? And your final, final exam, which is healthier, the plate with your veggies, meat, meat alternatives, grains and starches, or 
chicken wings. Okay, which one? That's your final exam. I'm gonna be asking you along with taking weights when you get back what your answer is. So, gotta go. Hope you come back again.